guys, I hope you're all okay out there. Welcome to the Cliff Festival studios. Hope you're all okay. I've got Debbie Throw with me. Debbie, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Enjoying this very much. Yes, the weather's just turned, hasn't it? It was lovely and then now a bit of rain. Cracking day yesterday, but actually I'm quite pleased because yeah, it, it could hot. get very hot under canvas otherwise. That's right. So tell us a bit about what you do, who you work for. All that kind of thing. I work for the Bible Reading Fellowship, okay. BRF, and I head up their initiative called The Gift of Years, which is resourcing the spiritual journey of older people. Nice. And I've pioneered a form of chaplaincy called Anna Chaplaincy to Older People. Okay. And started what's Anna in Hampshire. About? Well, Anna is named after uh, the story in Luke's Gospel of Simeon and Anna. So they're okay. both yep. role models, great role yep. models of faithful older people. Okay, and tell us a bit about all the years, because we hear a lot in the news about isolation, we hear a lot about the kind of mental health issues that are going on with older people. What have you found? What's well, working? I think there is a huge demographic change underway. In the next 20 years, there'll be double the number of people over the age of 85 wow. than there are now. And in 30 years, that number is going to nearly treble. Wow. So in other wow. words, if I make the age of 85 yeah, yeah. plus, there'll yeah. be nearly three times as many people in that age wow. group as there are now. So it stands to reason that as you lose a spouse or a yeah. partner, or you downsize yeah. and you perhaps move to a different part of the country, or you go into residential care, the chances of uh, suffering loneliness yeah. increase enormously okay, yeah. and what do you think the church does a good job because I, I guess it's mixed across the board but church could be a great place for people to engage like what have you seen churches do really well at work well obviously churches provide a huge amount of friendship companionship fellowship for older people yeah and the average age of a congregation in a Church of England church is 68 yep. and rising. Yep. Uh, in a, the Methodist church, it's even older yep. than that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's very important for older people to feel connected to their yeah. churches. But also, I think it's a natural stage of life when you start to think about the big questions of yeah, why absolutely. am I here? What have yeah. I done? Yeah. Have I led a good life? Yeah. What's next? Yeah. So the church really needs to be engaging with people so that we can help people as they're seeking answers to those questions. So Anna chaplains are there for people of strong, little or no faith at all. So it's a way of the church is actually serving their communities and listening to what people actually have in terms of their questions. And I'm really interested in this myself, but how can you go about find out more about the chaplaincy, Anna chaplaincy? Well, there's a website called The Gift of Years. So Great. it's just www.thegiftofyears.org.uk. The main website there not only tells you about Anna chaplaincy, but it showcases all sorts of good ideas Great. for ministry among older people. Just today I was hearing about a church uh, on the south coast that holds mindfulness sessions for older people. Wow. That's a really good yeah. way of helping people to be in the present moment, yeah. to calm themselves, to uh, control anxiety. And it, th these are secular tools sometimes, but yeah. they've come from a spiritual, religious background. Mm. But it's ways of helping people to em empower themselves when anxiety or fear yeah. starts to take hold. Thanks for coming by. Are you here all weekend? Uh, no, just today, so but I'm giving seminars. a seminar this afternoon, 2.15 to 3.15. Do you know where that is? Uh, it's in the Lecture Theatre 1A, okay, and its title is uh, Growing Old Gracefully, because of course like the whole that. theme of the weekend is grace. Yeah, great. I love that. So there might be a bit of how to grow old disgracefully as well, <laughs> yes. for good measure. That's what we're all doing. Thank you so much for coming by, <laughs> It's Debbie. a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.